This is my Cobra Crusher, and I've used it about a half a dozen times now. And I found out a few things that uh, might be useful to anyone considering purchasing one. Uh, first of all, and most importantly, it really does work as good as YouTube videos portray. You put a handful of rocks in here, and 10 to 20 seconds later, it's uh, fine gravel or even powder. Assembly is also extremely easy, it only takes a minute or two. As simple as the assembly is, there is a potential danger that could greatly reduce the life of the Cobra Grinder. And that is that some of the models come with an uh, extension arm, which can be bolted either to the outside of the welded on arm or to the inside. And here's what I found, that when it's bolted to the inside, the head of the bolt hits against the body of the angle grinder and prevents it from uh, rotating so that it, the, the face of the angle grinder here where the handle goes in is uh, parallel to this uh, extension arm. The result is if you put the bolt in and tighten it down you're going to be putting a torque on this bearing and that can cause it to burn out. If you have it attached on the outside like this there is still an opening here which if you tighten down it's now going to put a torque like this and again run the risk of burning this bearing out because it's it's not aligned properly. A simple fix is to if you have this sort of arm is to put it on the outside and then fill the gap with a, uh, a thick washer. The uh, space is parallel so if you put a washer in here you can tighten it down and you don't get any torque on the bearing. I think this is really important. I've seen some videos where people will run their angle, their um, Cobra grinder for like 30 seconds and I see smoke coming out of this bearing and I think the reason is that they did not uh, position the um, arm properly and get it tightened down properly so it wasn't uh, running freely here. That It was putting some sort of torque on this bearing. I recommend being very careful of your choice of angle grinders because there's the chance that uh, once you put it on you can't get it off. Now I've watched the video on the Cobra Crusher site and they explained that doing so is very simple. You just take this plate off, uh, hold the locking button on the angle grinder and then tap the, uh, the rotating hammer a few times with a, a ha hammer and it just breaks loose. Uh, I've watched that video many times and I have tried this and I can't get the, uh, the rotating hammers to break loose. So this angle grinder is on here for good. So be very careful uh, when you put it on because you may never be able to get it off again. I had planned on showing how to assemble it, how to attach the, uh, an angle grinder, but as I've already said, I can't get the thing apart so I wasn't able to do that. I've done some experiments on uh, loading this up with rocks to see how much it can handle. What I find is that uh, I can stick in 10 or 12 uh, inch diameter uh, samples, rocks into this and fire it up and it'll grind them away. Any more than that and every once in a while what will happen is that a couple of rocks will uh, bind up and uh, jam the, uh, the rotating hammer before it can get started. Uh, this is no big problem, you just quit trying to uh, operate it, shake it around a few times, you can fire it up again. But it's not good for the motor to be jammed. Uh, what some people do is they'll leave the cap off and just feed the rocks in one at a time. The hammers rotate like this, so there's very little chance that anything's going to be spit out this way. Some models also have a 90 degree bend here, which makes it even more safe. In all cases, I know that when they do that, they have heavy rubber glove, uh, leather gloves and they cover this up. One safety consideration when doing this is to remember that rocks aren't just rocks, they're minerals. And as such, they can uh, give off dangerous compounds when they're ground up. This thing will produce dust that is so fine it floats in the air like fog. It, even though this is a tight seal, it, seal it'll come out of here. So. Uh, always do your grinding outside and stand upwind of it so that it doesn't blow in your face and make sure that no one's downwind. The chances of something dangerous happening like getting some arsenic compounds is pretty small, 
but do you really want to take that chance with your children or your grandchildren? One concern I had is that if some golden is in here, like some larger flakes, that it's going to get uh, shredded. And uh, I've done some research online and I saw someone who put some gold in here and uh, ran it around and the gold came out just fine. Uh, but what I have observed and uh, what I've read about online is that often uh, flakes of gold will get pounded and rolled up into small spheres. And I've seen this happen at about 50% of the gold that's in here. And there's a, a big negative to this because when that happens, because gold is so soft, a lot of the dust gets pounded into the gold. So it's like it's uh, contaminated, it's, it's dirty. And the little gold pellets, which are very small, they come out, they look dirty, and they're not as pure gold as when they went in. So uh, that's a consideration. Also, if you're running this stuff over a miller table, the uh, little gold spheres tend to roll down it very quickly. One of the reasons I got this was that I'm doing a series of review of online sources of pay dirts. And uh, I thought that uh, some of the larger rocks that normally you would dis uh, discard uh, might have bits of gold on them or in them. So I classified my pay dirts down to uh, uh, minus 30 and below and just pan them out like normal. Everything above 30, I ran through this with the idea of breaking it up and maybe recovering a little bit of gold. After several tests, what I found is nothing. If uh, there's anything in those rocks, it is so minuscule that if you're going to buy a cobra grinder just for a cobra crusher just for that, it's pretty much a waste of time and effort. But overall, I'm very happy with this device. It's uh, a lightweight, only weighs about eight pounds unit. It uh, works great at crushing rocks, uh, grinding them up to a fine powder, and uh, it's a very useful device. It also seems to be extremely durable. Some uh, videos suggest that you don't run the uh, the motor for more than five or ten seconds. I've run it for two minutes and not have the bearing get uh, get hot at all. And I think that's because I was careful about making sure that I'm not putting any tor torque on the bearing. The um, hammers inside are actually heavy-duty chains. And after uh, half a dozen uses, they still look brand new. So this thing's going to last a long time. So I like this. And uh, $400 is a little much to pay. But if you want to do some hard rock mining and you need to t grind your samples up uh, in the field very quickly, you can't do any better than this. Thank you for watching this video. I th hope you found it useful.